Good morning and welcome to another episode. Today we're starting from home like you see. We're gonna do some kayak fishing but first thing first we have uh, some uh, nice product that we can review that's all about kayaking guys. If you kayak or transport stuff on your car they made it easy for you. This is a uh, KYX uh, universal kayak roof rack and they sent me the crossbar because in my car I was missing the crossbar as well so they were kind enough to send me the crossbar as well so let's unpack this uh, product review it and we'll show you how to install it in your car and how to load the kayak on your car first we're gonna start with the kayak carrier That's it. got a little room here big item so at least here I was thinking of doing that on the car. I figured out it's easier here than I need to break anything. Oh yeah. They look good. Like you know, I uh I had a homemade kayak carrier, so I never had a real deal. I'm happy, excited. They sent me this nice heavy duty, very strong, we can handle uh Think up to 150 pound uh, kayak which you're not gonna you're not gonna buy anything like that but this is uh it's good for two kayaks actually or two of those okay guys there you have it it's two of them oh they're tough they're tough i like the color my car is black, I didn't even ask for the color, but I guess this perfect color for my car. Okay. So that's all we have on the box. So we have two pieces of the kayak uh, carrier and you have four straps. So these are heavy duty straps. They can hold, they can hold up to 750 pound, I guess, which is a lot. So you don't have to worry about them breaking or anything so it comes with four of them it's very neat and so this is made uh, to carry two kayaks uh, you can adjust this for uh you have the screw here on the side let me just do it this way so you can see it so this screw on the side here can allow you to to remove this and put it in the position you prefer so I'm just gonna leave it uh, flat and I'm just gonna put my kayak flat on top of this but it, if you have two kayaks you just lift this up tie this screw here this is pretty easy and you put two kayaks vertical of course the other one gonna be there as well so let's do this here instead of the car then I'm gonna show you on the car how, the, how it looks Okay, just right there. Simple as that, guys. I never done this uh, this this roof rack, but they make it so so simple, so easy. You have all the straps. So let's say you have two kayaks vertical. You're gonna tie them, and of course they come with these gaps that you can uh, you can uh, have your strap so it doesn't look messy. And of course here on top too, and tie both kayaks. Uh, and you have this little button right here, which uh, uh, moves this. If let's say you have one smaller kayak, one bigger kayak, you move this where, where you want it or all. Simple as that. This give you a couple inches. So that's a good good feature to have. So let's, uh, let's open the crossbars as well. And we're gonna show you guys how to install this on your car and how to load your kayak on the, this roof rack. We have the bars. Okay, let's leave those on the side right here. So we have the two bars. Oh yeah. Beautiful. There you have it guys. KYX right there. All these practices you're gonna find them on sunsetauto.com with the discount code provided on my description you can uh, get what you see here and whatever they have in store with the same discount code so 
plus our debars. So I never done those, but they make it so easy nowadays. You don't need. And they provide their own L wrench here, so no tool needed. They have everything in there. And of course the lock. You lock this in place so nobody can steal your roof rack. You know, nowadays you have to be you have to be sure. So this go first, then you're gonna put the plastics on the tip of it. So simple as that guys. So is this gonna be the part that stays under and this is the top part that stays on the car. So this is gonna go under, they just light in through there guys okay you slide this in and don't tie anything yet when we go to the car you're gonna tie everything because that's where you're gonna see how uh, wide your car is because this is universal this can go like I think this goes up to 56 inches uh, wide and now you put uh, the cap so it clips right here so that way you don't lose the cap make sure you put you put it the right way like I said you have the manual like I said if you have a hard time you have everything included here on how to but this is simply as simple and easy nice and tight right there clips in right there guys this is not going anywhere you want this to move for now we're gonna go on the car and set everything. So they're gonna go in last, so make sure to take them off because I started the wrong way losing these so they can fit your uh, sidebars. So lug's gonna go on the end. There you go. Now we're good to go. I'll slide mine right on end, so make sure they're straight. Don't over tie it, you know, I mean you tie it good, but don't over tie it. You will know when, when you are there. Just like that, guys. That's it. This thing, it's like a rock. So, you do the same thing for the other one. So you see how simple and easy this was I didn't use the manual at all if you have a hard time you can open the book and figure it out but this is so simple guys you tie this on place first adjust it where you want it uh, depends what type of car you have and then you can either put the locks on or don't put the locks on so it's up to you so the locks you don't need the locks for the a crossbar to stay in place the locks are for your own safety so nobody steals your uh, your uh, crossbars anyway let's uh set the kayak carrier and take it from there look at that guys sorry windy today but look at that it looks beautiful you don't need to remove this from your car you just leave them there in my case guys I'm only gonna need the flat uh, kayak carrier I'm gonna remove this for now this adds a lot of weight I have no I'm not transporting two kayaks and if I need it back just put it back in seconds if I need to add a second kayak on my car but for now just gonna take it off just simple as that guys just the bed I need perfect so we have this ready took the four screws 
this is light much lighter now put this on the middle exactly on the middle right there boom that's all we need Make sure to put that in the middle. I mean, you don't need to be exact, so. All right, you guys looking good. That's the finished product. Like I said, I removed the middle part. I have no need for it. There you have it. This is simple. And we're gonna do the sideway now. I'll show you how I load my kayak. Simple and easy, so that way you don't damage your car. Guys, I got the a little towel right there that's all you need not a rocket science you're gonna put the tip of your kayak right here i'll show you how And I'm gonna tie it down. Simple as that, guys. So let's uh, tie that. Show you one more tie, all tied, and hit the water. All right, you guys. There you have it. All tied up. It looks good, nice and clean. Ah, uh, looks better. With that. Look at that. I'm happy with KYX a product. So let's drive this. Check it out when we get to our fishing spot, and take it from there. I'll see you guys in the water. All right, you guys, we're here. We're excited. Let's unload our kayak. It's like an hour drive, handled pretty good. I love these new roof racks and uh, kayak rack guys, can't complain. I'm excited, let's unload the kayak and do some fishing. All right, you guys, we're ready. We got our bait, we got a lot of pinfish, we got a lot of mojaras, so we're gonna oh. ready. Let's do this. Let's do it, guys. Let's get it on. Let's get it on now. So. Our first fish, guys, I wasn't even filming. I think it's a trout. Yeah, it's a nice trout. A baby one. Oops. Fast release. Those dolphins are not leaving us alone. See if we're gonna pull out a good size uh, mango snapper from here. Okay, uh, come on. He got it. Fish on. Oh, nice snappy. Snappy snap. He's right there, so. Well, look at the dolphin, you saw I got him and he came through. Yeah, it's a keepy size, but we, we want to see if we can get big ones there. We'll let this guy go. All right, you guys, we're back by the bridge. Not much going on in that side of town, so figure out. Let's drop some. Small pinfish here, some mullet. We don't have more harness, they all die. Lazy to go now and waste my day. Catch some more, so we'll see if a uh, pinfish is gonna do any good here. If snapper are here, catch them on the pinfish. 
We're closer to the fence now. Was uh, was a stronger current by the first pylon that than it is here on the middle by the fence. I'm surprised. Fish off, fish off. Come on, man. I want to see what they are. Fish on. There you go. Okay. Oh, snappy snap. Hey, snappy snap. Yeah. Okay, so they are snapper. That's a good sign. Oops, there he goes. I was going to let him go anyway. It was like 10, 10, half, 11. I'm here for some fat snap. I was going to let him go, but he didn't think that way. He thought I'm gonna put him on my, my bucket. Okay, so we know they're here now. That's a good sign. Let's catch a big one then. I know they like the tiny ones. Snapper love those finger mullets. But pinfish is better because they dive down, you know. Okay, yeah, they, they like the mullet. Oh yeah, oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good snapper right there. Fish on, guys. That's a nice one. I hope it's not a grouper. That's a good snapper right there. Oh yeah. That's a keepy right there, guys. That's what we're looking for. There you have it, guys. A 13, 14 there. This goes on the box. I had him this time, though. Whatever that thing is. Yeah. yeah, it's a big school of something under there. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Oh, fish on. I want to get out this time. Oh, yeah. Ah, ah sea bass. Yeah, I mean, it's the, it is the fourth species here, right? Uh, Now this guy swallowed. He got you in that rock, right? Yeah. It's a nasty rock right there. Man, all species here today. Right now, all species are here. Let's see if a big grouper shows up. Nice little sea bass. We have a mullet right now. Let's see if uh, that big snapper loves mullet. Oh, there you go. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's another 11. 10 and a half, so I'll let this guy go. Another 10 and a half, guys. We'll let them leave. We're here only for the fat ones. That's a good one. That's a good one. There you go. Fish on. That's another keeper. It is happy. Yeah. Nice huh? He's right there too. It's like 10 and a half too. I'm not gonna even bother. But hey, we're getting them. That's what matters. I wasn't filming. I changed uh, changed pylon. Another lane over here. guys are testy because this guy's big. Come on man, let go. There you have it. Tiny lane. This is the last pylon for me. I'll check this. I have like four or five uh, in fish left that I got from uh, Clint. And, oh. And I think I'm done for today. We'll call it a day. Let's see what else we can catch here. Chew 
chewing on the pinky. It's not pinky. Oh yeah, good shot. We got him this time. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good snappy. Ah, nice, a good one or not? He's there. He's lucky. Another tenner. Felt like a good one, huh? This is my last bait. It's uh, I have a couple dead ones, but I think I'm done. Sun is going down. I have to load. That's what bad about kayaking. Loading and unloading. Oh yeah, fish out. Let's see. Oh yeah. That's a bad one. There you have it guys, this was our last fish. We're heading out to the car. Sun is uh, going down. So, we're wrapping it up. All right, you guys, what an interesting day we had yesterday. We fished till sunset. Overall, I'm very happy with the KYX product. They're a universal kayak roof rack and the crossbars. Uh, I'm gonna provide the link down in my description with a discount code. Please visit sunsendauto.com and use the same discount code for this product or any product through their store. So thank you again for joining me in this adventure. Like always, please don't forget, like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one.